Hello, fellow crafters, happy haulers, my people. How are you all today? I was going to sleep the other night, start watching videos, the videos that you all posted of what you've been buying all week. And I was like, I'm missing out. I'm missing out. Oh, my God. I'm in Alabama. So we've been having tornadoes. You know, if you looked at any of my other videos, uh, my birthday is on March 17th. And there was a storm, a tornado going through town on my birthday. But I know that kind of thing happens. So it's not new to me. But a storm went through, tore up some neighborhoods with beautiful, beautiful, beautiful homes. Beautiful homes, you know, the homes over three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand dollars, those types of homes. To up small homes um, in Anniston, you know, I did a video in Anniston of a of a Hobby Lobby hall. That's where the Ohatchee is near Anniston in Calhoun County, and five people died, three in one family, and I mean, just horrible, horrible, horrible times. But yes. In the midst of all of that, the next day it was shiny and bright each time it happened. And then there was another storm just the other day. And so we've been having it hard, but life goes on. We have to continue going to work. The children have to continue to go to school. And, hey, here I am still happily hauling and just giving you an update on what's been going on down here. But you probably heard it on the news. And there are things going on all over the world, but we all have to keep living. And we have to... How does the scripture say? Count it all joy. So, on to the hall. I'm going to tell you the count. That I'm counting it all joy. Fake it till we make it, right? But I'm doing better about it. I'm, I'm really happy. Life is good. Okay, so, I um, did this haul. The one near my home in Trustful, Alabama. And I'm in Birmingham. So, it's like I'm right around the corner. So, um... I paid about $67 if you round it up from the cents. And I saved $163 because without tax, this would have originally have been $230. And with tax, the other one was, like I said, I rounded up to $67 because it was like $66 and 39. So he said 36 at first and I think, you know, a little dyslexic or something. But that's okay. We worked it out. So anyway, I was watching y'all hauls. I couldn't even watch. I had to watch something else. Because when I saw the stuff come up, I said, ooh, ooh, ooh. That was stuff I've been looking at and thinking I want. I don't know if I want it. But now I want it because I didn't ever think it was going to sell. I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking because I know everything goes on sale. But I've been looking at the Bible journaling. And, you know, I was trying to get everything together that I wanted to show you all. And I forgot. Before I start doing hauling videos, I actually bought a Bible journaling book. And I was intending to find it and bring it here so we could look at it. I didn't <laughs> remember to do that. I looked for it, but I forgot. But I did remember to bring a Bible that I got on a haul before I was doing hauls. I got this Bible at Hobby Lobby. And I had seen these at some of the Christmas Village shows. There's this company that does them, um, the Bibles. They have the purple and the turquoise. I don't know their name. But, excuse you excuse me. <laughs> but um, when I saw, I, did, I wouldn't. I said, I, I know, you know, they sell where you can um, have the... the the names of the different books. And I was like, I know the names of the books. I know how to use my Bible. So I didn't want to buy that. But it, they were beautiful. I probably still end up buying one one day. Because they were so beautiful with the colors and stuff. And they had, like, you see this one is done in purple. And this one here that I have is done in turquoise. Well, when I asked them about it, they were like... One of people say that they don't sell Bibles. I said, no, I bought a Bible from here. In fact, if you look at my other haul, which I just happen to have the Bible right here. You sell Bibles. This is a King James Version that I just bought. Well, no, this is the NIV Compact Bible. And I got it because people use other ones. I like King James. I don't worry about New King James, none of that. I, I, but I saw this. It was um, in another hall. And I think I paid like um, $1.99 for it. So it's still probably at the stores if you want to go look at them. Or go get one. But all the same, 
this is um the way my I got one of those spiraling arm phone holders, so I'm trying not to hit it. But all the same, I have bought this Bible. And so I've done some coloring in it. I try to I got, you know, plenty of Bibles. And I got another one that's similar to this that I got from Hobby Lobby at work. It's a smaller one. They still have it there. It's for about six dollars and something. And it's kind of a Bible and it's kinda of like um sayings, you know, affirmations. But anyway, so I got this Bible in addition to already having Bibles. My dad was a pastor, so if I got anything, I got Bibles. But if I don't have a Bible, I got some in my head. So <laughs> so I might be all right. But all the same, the Bible journaling thing came up and I was like, man, yes, that's me, art, Bible. I won't drop my Bible. I'm trying to put it to the side here. But I got a lot going on down here. Anyway, so when I saw that you all had this kid and was saying that it was on sale. I was like, I've been looking at this at Walmart. I've been looking at it there. I mean, I've gotten a lot of calligraphy stuff that you all have seen me buy. So, you know, it's right over there in that section. Thank you for presenting it and showing it to me. I even showed you where I bought these at Michael's. So, now, hey, I got the kit. It was originally $19.99 and now it's on sale for $4.99. I couldn't even finish watching the videos. But I will watch the videos now because I'm happy. I was able to go on and go. On. And I was saying this was Faber Castell, but I heard somebody else say it is Faber Castell. So, my bad if I pronounced it wrong. But I don't know which one of us is right. But all the same, this is not only is this a good set, this is a good packaging. Because I like it that these have a handle. And I really want to, and I will use them. But what I want to do is really take them out of the packaging, but at the same time, I want to leave them in the packaging because I can hang it. So, for people who don't know, Bible journaling is like when you just like to write alongside the Bible. If you like to highlight the Bible, if you like to underline the Bible, if you like to color code your Bible, if you want to put pictures in your Bible. Here it is. Now, I'm thinking, I was looking at it, I was like, oh, that one. I'm thinking I'm going to use that. Now... The one that I got, I might draw my own stuff in there. But whichever way I decide to go, I'm going to journal. I have a cousin. She did hers with, she got the different colored, um, um, what's that tape called? You know the tape that you can decorate and they make duct tape. And she did hers so pretty. She did it with these bright colors. So pretty. I mean, she's a veterinarian. So she's pretty and smart. And crafty obviously now but yeah so it comes with 16 die cuts two sheets of mache paper for the six page illustrated design guide 16 stickers two mixed media stencils and <laughs> four bible journaling stencils so these are the four bible journaling stencils two mixed media stencils so i'm thinking that that is what are they showing me it is right they call it nothing mixed media and then they're calling this the four Bible journal but it looks like four right there two together I think they're saying one two three and four maybe so the two gelatos and where they said dragon fruit and star fruit that are highlighters and then they got the two um, the gelatos colors guava and aqua dolce okay two pit artist pens one black and one with a super fine knit so yes I, I was gonna do this video last night but you know living so I didn't get to do it but this is how it comes when it's out of the package so see it's very unattractive it's trying not to stay in that package it wants to go somewhere else and be beautiful and um but i put it out and looked at it so i don't know if i'm going to use these or not but i'm going to use the rest of it like the pens they'll get used for sure um now, the gelatos I'm thinking about, I gotta do some more checking out on that because what I need to do on that is find out 
how to seal it because they're almost like a, to me it seems like they're unstable and I don't want them to smear. That's my thought on that. Okay, dropping that down. Then, since I was over there, they had some more creative lettering. Like, which um, I guess it's saying that's what calligraphy is. It's lettering. So, this, same thing, $19.99, but was for, for $4.99. And like I said, I almost live over in that section. I have to try to move on so people won't think, like, she's weird. She's just standing in this one section. But I guess I can be weird and stay in one section, but I don't want to be weird and stay in one section. But anyway, it has five lettering guides, an envelope guide. That means that, you know, help you line everything up. 64-page illustrated design um, guide. Um two mixed media stencils, um, four double-sided paper shapes with four labels, 15 flags. It comes with a graphite pencil. That's 2B. 2B, I'm trying to remember, is HB or 2B? HB is lighter, lighter. 2B is a little darker than HB. I don't know how to tell you. I didn't think I'd need to bring out those pencils, but I got some from back when I was in college. Uh, and I still have them. Just sometimes I don't need them like that all the time. But a pencil is a pencil. Okay. G is um, three pit artist pens. They got the metallic silver. It's a bullet nib. Black brush nib. That brush means it's a soft nib. Flexible. And then it's a black super fine. And that's um, a hard nib. So um, then they got H which is a paintbrush. I is an eraser. And Jay has the two Gelato colors, um, gold, champagne, and bubble gum. And um, now Walmart has another one, and it's like $12. But it has like, um, what's that stuff called? It's like a paste that you can put down and then color over it. And I was thinking one of these had that. It doesn't. But it's okay. If I ever need and want to do the one that the Walmart kit has, I'll go get it. But for right now... This is great. Okay, so these, this one is saying that it's modern calligraphy. It's priced a little higher at $24.99, and it was on sale for $6.24. And it looks like they have a video if you go to their site. It um, teaches basic strokes. So, 14 pieces. And I was like, I just can't let this go at this great price. Because, you know, the way I was looking at all this stuff, I was going to end up with it all anyway. It was just... I was trying to talk myself in and out of it. So this one comes with four tubes of watercolor paint. They're um, 0.3 flow ounces or 10 milliliters. It comes with three pit artist pens, which is a uh, black soft brush nib, um, black brush nib, and a black um, 1.5 bullet nib. It comes with graphite pencil hb so see this is what i was saying the hb is a light so now i got a, a new hb and a 2 hb what what's that 2 hb i think hb and a 2 h um all the same d it comes with one of those mini water brushes now if you've seen any of my videos you see i got several of those now because i got some jane davenport ones and i got one even for um doing t-shirt designs which, you know, I'm going to get around to that and show you all something. Because if I got time today, I'm going to show you something. I'm trying not to make one, make two videos. Because I've seen mine are running short. I should be over the 30 minutes where I can do that. But it's not letting me for whatever reason. So I'm trying to stop it within a time frame that it's letting me um, work right now. Okay, an envelope template here. Which, um, maybe at some point I'll show you. But I got one with the light that I got for calligraphy that I'm going to have to show you a haul that I got from Tuesday morning. It, it was marked down from some places, but about the same as most places. It's a laser light that you can use. But I know I've done so much typesetting and writing that I don't even need one. But I got it because if you're doing professional work, it's a just in case. Just in case I need it. That's what I'm saying. Okay, and the elf is the ruler. You know, I got 50 million of those because I got young children. Um, G is a curved template. I got one of those because I'm so close. There's one. Um, if you hear my voice, got muffled because there's one behind me. And this um, one of those cubes, those plastic cubes that you store stuff. I got one in there that I was just messing with today, trying to make sure it didn't um, break on me because I've had it for a long time too. 
but it still works. So I'm not throwing it away. H is a practice pad. You know, we've seen plenty of those. And then the guide. A lot of time the guides are by the same people. And if the way the packaging is on this, this beautiful packaging. <laughs> Did y'all see that fall? Um, throw some brushes over here. <laughs> it just fell out of my hand. But I was through with it. And I was going to head down here anyway. So I guess it tried to jump fast. Okay. This I got in the soul section. Soology. Three seventy nine originally, ninety four cents. They got a little ling. Well, they're supposed to. Some of them have it, some of them don't. I don't know, but it's rhinestone rivets. I want to use it on a purse design, and I got some stuff here. In fact, I got a um, a drawing on this board. If I can get to it, I'm gonna show you all where it might go. Okay. Got some pictures to hang, so I got some command strips that I'm gonna try to use, cause. Finding those studs in my walls and trying to get stuff to stay on the wall is just being difficult. So um, these were eleven ninety nine at Hobby Lobby and two ninety nine is what I got them for. But you know the price in probably at Walmart is probably a little bit cheaper than what they are there. So I may have paid just a dollar more or a few dollars, um, a, a dollar less than I would have at Walmart. Maybe a few dollars because I think it's usually I bought some. So these aren't my first. I've been hanging some stuff. In fact, I need to one day show y'all um, this thing I did in my closet. Okay. Where I used a bunch of those and I hung necklaces on it. This is a, a mini art easel. They had them in a, a mahogany. This one is black. And then they had like a natural color wood. And I was thinking when I go back to work, because I'm working, but I'm working from home because of COVID. Every day, thank you, COVID. I mean, I did telework before some, but um, just at home because of COVID now every day. So anyway, I could use this here. They had little art easels and stuff like that. So I'm, I, but they're cheap at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> they're a dollar and sometimes you can get two in a pack. But they did have some there and they probably go on a better price at some point. But I'll use that at work. I might use it here, you never know. Now this is something I've been watching and been intending to get. And yes, I'm cheap enough that I've been watching for some time. Another thing I forgot, I was intending to get the purse to show you that I'm going to put it on. But basically it's just a little basic. You know those purses that people were um, doing the iron on, um, the vinyl letters? Because I made some for my family and myself. and But I got one similar to those. At Walmart and it's black and white stripes stripes going to the side and so I just wanted to get these for my initials and I gotta find an M but I got four uh, four stores in my area and three close to me well four all of them close to me and I'll be going to a hospital maybe about a on the 17th for my baby's birthday my oldest child her birthday she's turning 14 so Anyway, I can find another one somewhere. But they were originally one ninety nine, and me, and Mrs. Cheap, didn't even use the forty percent off coupon. <laughs> but they're forty nine cents now, so whoop, whoop, I'm gonna get all three of them, and I'll pay less than I would pay for one. And what I'm, they're pens. Um, they had some. I can show them to you because I got them right here. I do have some stuff right in pocket, but they had these right here. I said. They have these little letters here. They're from Blue Moon. Because I checked the back. Blue Moon beads. And these here are just stick on. And I got some of them to spell my whole name out. And I got some who are for initials. And I bought these. These were in a Hobby Lobby haul some time ago. They were 79 originally. And they're 19 cents when I got them. So I hope I got enough to do what I need to do. Because now they fail. But anyway, this is a pen. It's not a stick on. So... I mean, you know, I can always bend that down and, and make it stick. But I can stick it through there. I only paid about $5 for that purse. I can put it on anything, but that's why I wanted to get them. And I waited a long time. So this here is artistic wire. Yeah, I do jewelry too. So this was um $39.99. It was on sale for $9.99. So, so what's wrong with this? It was open. It was open. So I said, well, let me see what's missing. Something's missing. Somebody's taking something. Because I don't know if they just do it at my Hobby Lobbies, but every other one I went to, people taking stuff out and 
and doing what they want to do. And I know it's Christian still playing Christian music and all that stuff. People still do what they're going to do. And ain't never a Hobby Lobby in a bad neighborhood. So go figure. But anyway, you see, look, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Everything looks great. I already have a purple set. I'm so bad. Because I got another purple set. And the funny thing about it is, right over here, I got a holder. I think I got these on a haul at Michael's. I mean, I've been hauling for a long time. And I just started videoing. So, that's how it goes in here. But I was thinking, you know, a lot of times when I travel, I try to do some kind of arts and craft. And so, the good thing about it is, this one is in a nice little set. Because, well, it's in a nice little case. Because my other ones, they usually are behind me. And I'm looking behind myself like, where are y'all? Say hello. Say something. But they're not. Thank you, Lord. I don't want them to say anything. But they're usually behind me in a purple bag that I carry the stuff with, the wire and all of that. And so, it's not right now. This is some more of my calligraphy pens or fountain pen cartridges. Got some more of those because I will use them. This is another pen I got. Um, I don't think I've done the video that I have it, but I got showed a haul where I had the gold one the other week. So I got the, I mean the silver one, so I got the gold one this time. And I was tempted to get all of them because I don't find a lot of gold or silver pen, um, ink. And it's going to be expensive when you do, so I wanted to go on and get as much as possible. But I'm trying to give other people a chance to get some. I'm trying to share. Okay, and then I, I, I just got this. $7.99, $1.99, I can do my painting. I can do my calligraphy. And I'm trying to reach over and show you where I, It doesn't fail. Every time I do a video, something falls over, right? But of course, I'm reaching around getting stuff. But I, I bought some and showed you all. But I had gotten some in the haul. And I was just going to show you a little picture. Just, I was just scribbling around with some pens that I had gotten. And so, these are really good. This Strathmore, well, that's what I call it. Um, um, these cards are really good. The papers are really good. They really hold your, your paint or your ink without a whole lot of bleed. I'm heavy-handed, so it looked like it wanted to do a little bit, but it didn't. And that's what's important is that it didn't. Okay. And then I got these two. They're plantar purse scrap straps. And I pulled one out. Which one I pulled out? This one. They're for those happy planners. And they actually have on their happy planner. I don't know if I'd normally like these, but these look so cute with the heart shape and the hearts and stuff. Until I got it. And I normally don't even like purses and stuff with them unless it's luggage. So I'm going to have to think about this one and decide if I'm going to use it. Because I don't have the happy planner. But I like the strap. Because this could go in that same bag where I bought these same letters. And so, you know, woo -woo -woo. Now something else I got. And this was a real deal steal. This, okay, looks like I'm going to have time. This is a aluminum tripod easel, tripod easel. Now, what I had done was I was at Walmart one day and I was supposed to upload a video where I went through the art department and I was shopping and I saw they had a basic wooden tabletop one for ten dollars and they had this one for um, thirty nine ninety nine. Well, it's the same price here that it was at Walmart, but now they got it for ten dollars nine ninety nine. And the thing about it is, same exact easel. Um, and it can be tabletop or you can have it full length. Um, master's touch. Easy to assemble. I'm going to try to, what did I do with it? It is really quick because I have it assembled. I'm going to try to do a demo for you. 
Now, I didn't want to do a demo because I don't have my little sidekicks. They don't want to be down here in the basement. The dungeon is not the dungeon because it's part of the garage. So I usually open the door. But anyway, it's easy to just pull it up. You know how we pull things down and click it in place. We'll unscrew that. It has the telescopic um, lift here where you can raise or lower your canvas holder. So what I'm going to try to do here is show you how I had this in another haul. This is a Butterfly to Diamond Art. It was originally $14.99 and I got it for $3.74. Well, I'm going to try to do a little demo to show you. Okay, what it does is, like they say, in the corner you got the little charts here. I pulled out one that says A19. They look like this, in case you're like me and never did this before. This one is A17. So you, you got, it comes with the tray comes with the stylus this here you can slip on the stylus if you're one of those people who have issues like maybe carpal tunnel I do but I could deal with it or without it comes with a little wax you got your little tray here now they do give you all the different bags for all the different colors and all of them are separated and you just match them to the thing so they say you just shake this in here I got my little wax on here do I have enough all right, so I do, right? So I'm going to put that down for a minute. Now, the wax has a plastic cover over it, and I'm just going to put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. But I want you to see. Now, I bought the easel, but this is the tripod. That's some little stuff I got thrown away. That's my little dirt back. That's the box, garbage can over there and stuff. So this is the tripod though and this is a holder a, um, 